Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1036. You've been warned. Also, this video is brought to you by Boxu, but we'll touch on that later. Hello, my Nakama Tachi, this is Droid Girl, and I've been thinking about a crazy idea about the possibility of One Piece being a circular story. Yes, including time travel, loopholes, the whole crazy lot. I know it's wild and seemingly impossible stuff, but this is an idea that I've been toying around with in my head in the back of my mind for quite a while now. It's actually something that I brought up during the reverie, but it's never something that I fully fleshed out. But I started thinking about it again recently recently because as you guys know I've been in quarantine, recovering from COVID, so thinking about One Piece is basically how I've been spending the majority of my time, which I can't complain about. But that also got me thinking about time travel and thinking about hey if I could travel backwards maybe I could not catch COVID. No I'm just kidding but time travel will be a relevant part of today's discussion. But the real reason why I actually started thinking about this is because recently I made a skit and if you haven't seen it then I encourage you to check it out and it touched on an experience that I'm sure most of you guys have had. If you're a One Piece fan, talking to your friends who aren't One Piece fans, then I'm sure you've come across this moment before. That being when someone looks at Luffy's character and calls him Luffy. Now in the earlier days, that might have just seemed like an innocent mistake, something to roll your eyes at or just laugh about. But I actually think that ever since chapter 967, when Roger reintroduced the island Raft Tail as Laugh Tail to us, that seemingly innocent mistake seems a bit more important now. It seems like it actually could be a potential clue. It seems like something that could have been in our faces all along. Given that Luffy is spelt like Luffy, maybe that's an intentional choice by Oda. And you know, it's Oda. <laughs> For one, it fits with Luffy's character, who's a fun, laughing, joy boy. <laughs> Joyful boy. Joy boy. <laughs> but as a result of that, ever since that chapter, every time I've looked at Luffy's name, the mistake of Luffy as Luffy, it has always brought me back to the idea of Laugh Tale. It's made me think of Luffy's name completely differently because of the way that it's spelled, the way that it could be mispronounced as Luffy, and the connections that could be made to Laugh Tail as if Laugh Tail is Luffy's tail or Luffy's tail. And then that got me to thinking, you know, why or how would Roger have known that? Why would he name it Luffy's tail? For us, it makes sense as a series because we're reading One Piece, which is a story about Luffy, but then why would Roger have named it that? And that's what got me to thinking, maybe Roger is also reading Luffy's tale. And part of the treasure, part of One Piece that he found was literally Luffy's story. Essentially that the story that we're following now is the story that Roger found when he found the One Piece. And that could actually explain why the story is being narrated to us. Despite the fact that we are following a story in present time, it feels like a story that's already been written and it's been read out to us. Similar to how we witness Odin's flashback through his journal, it's like we're witnessing Luffy story through a tale that's already been written. But then this does mean that someone had to have left Luffy's story, which is in Roger's future, in the past, for Roger to have found it in his present. And that brings up the crazy time sequences and loops, and I have to admit that time travel always confuses the hell out of me. And I do think that there could be a danger in incorporating time travel into the story, or more time travel as I should say, because obviously we've had that happen now with Toki. And I know a lot of people weren't fans of that plot development when that happened, and I do know that a lot of people don't like the idea of time travel being expanded and having a greater role in the story. And I can understand why time travel often causes confusion and opens up the opportunity for potential inconsistencies to take place. But I would have to say that personally, I have faith in Oda and Oda's ability to deliver a plotline development effectively and in a way that makes sense, if of course that is his plan. For example, I think the Toki Toki no Mi was handled quite well. You know, Oda set up parameters. He worked it in as part of Toki's story that humans can't travel backwards, they can only travel forward in time, which then of course actually brings up the important discussion that it has been said in the story that humans humans can't travel back in time. So then what does that mean for our little discussion today? And I suppose my question to that would be, when Toki said that humans can't travel backwards, was Toki saying that just referring to her own devil fruit and her own abilities? Or was that Oda finding a way to set parameters and set limitation on how time travel would work in his story. Because unless that was Oda's intention to clarify how and in what manner time travel could work in the series, the idea of the existence of a devil 
wolf route that allows people to travel backwards in time, I don't think is completely out of the question or completely outside the realm of possibility. And one reason why I say that is because the idea of two sides of the same coin is a really heavy theme in One Piece. We have a direct opposite to almost everything in the series. We've got Luffy and Blackbeard, for example, the moon and the sun, light and dark, even parallels in arcs between pre and post time skip era. So thinking along those lines, if there's a devil fruit that allows humans to travel forward in time, could there be a direct opposite that allows humans to travel backwards in time? Could there be two sides of the same coin? But before we go on, because time travel can get a bit convoluted and things can get quite wild, I think this is a nice time to take a little tea break, which we can do courtesy of Boksu. <laughs> Boxu is a premium Japanese snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of Japanese snacks and tea pairings. So each month there's a different theme, which means that you get to try all sorts of different snacks and you get to learn more about Japanese local culture. And it seems like in the lead up to February, we've been gifted the pink Valentine edition. So if you have a waifu or a husbando, then I suppose this would be a great box for you. Or if you're like me and you just like snacks. <laughs> But something that I think is really cool about Boksu is that they partner with local artisans and local businesses, which means that you can actually learn more about the local culture as you're also enjoying the snacks. And so me, I'm a cereal snacker, but I actually also really enjoy reading this culture guide and I think it's a really cool service that they're providing. So today, given that the content of our discussion is quite crazy and wild, I think I want a nice, calming, gentle flavor. And so I'm gonna go with the Azuki chocolate. So these are slick chocolate cubes that are flavored with Azuki red beans from Hokkaido. Nice. Here you go, a little bit of ASMR for you all. Obviously I don't have experience in doing that. Oh, look at that. So cute. Mmm. The red beans has been really blended well into the chocolate. I was actually expecting it to be a red bean filling, but it's been blended in and it's very, very subtle. I think I enjoy that much more than I expected. So I just had the chocolate, but there are a whole host of other snacks in here as well. Some savory things like crackers. I saw other types of chocolates, some candy lollies as well. And if you're like me and you enjoy snacks and you enjoy snacking whilst reading One Piece or thinking about One Piece, then I would highly recommend Boksu. It's a great fun service. You get to try all sorts of different snacks, which you know are locally and if you do then make sure to use my code joygirl10 and the links are all down below but this way you can save 10% off your own authentic Japanese subscription box from Boksu so don't miss out on this amazing snack cultural journey through Japan. All right, thanks Boxu. Now let's get on to the video. So obviously, even with all things considered about, you know, the two sides of the same coin, the possibility of a backwards traveling time devil fruit, a backwards time traveling devil fruit, it still doesn't quite explain or resolve how Luffy could be involved in all the things we know to have happened in the past. Unless we connect Luffy to Joy Boy, because that is where the story seems to be heading. And that's actually partly why I started thinking about this in the first place. Up until relatively recently, everything that we knew about Joy Boy connected him to the past. For almost as long as we've known him, he's been a figure of the past. He was a legend tied to history. He was connected to the events of the Void Century. We knew he made a promise to Fishman Island, which we know he didn't keep. But then more recently, especially with Kaido's words in chapter 1014 to Luffy, that Luffy couldn't be Joy Boy either, it seems, it now seems like Joy Boy could be a title that someone could attain, which would mean that a Joy Boy could exist in the present, and I guess by extension, the future. Now, something that really toys with me is Roger's words in Odin's flashback, because he says two things, two potential clues, which could potentially suggest very different things. Things. One thing that Roger says is, I wish I could have lived in your time, Joy Boy. And the other is that we were too early, that he and his crew, the Roger Pirates, were too early. And this obviously referring to the new dawn, the idea of a prophesized individual who's going to bring about a new era. When you take these two statements and consider them side by side, it does raise questions for me as to whether Roger was talking about the same thing or he was talking about two separate things. Because when you take that first statement, I wish I could have lived in your time, at 
first it seems like he's talking about the past. He's talking to the Joy Boy in the history, the historical Joy Boy, the one connected to the Void Century, the one connected to Fishman Island. But then when you pair it with the idea of him being too early, him knowing he was too early, it made me start thinking whether Roger was talking to the future Joy Boy, I wish I could live in your time, if only I wasn't too early. And obviously if he is talking to someone in the future, then I think it's natural for most fans to assume that that he's referring to Luffy. Because again, I think that is where the story is heading towards. Admittedly, before we got to Wano, it wasn't very clear that Luffy was Joy Boy. I mean, yeah, after Fishman Island, it did seem like he was some sort of prophesized individual, but that didn't necessarily mean that he was Joy Boy, which is interesting because actually that's the same arc that we were introduced to Joy Boy. But even earlier on in the Wano arc, through Odin's flashback and through the prophecy, it became clearer and clearer that this idea of Luffy being a sovereign that was born, someone who's going to come and change the world, bring about a new dawn, that's been a very heavy theme in Wano. And still, that didn't necessarily equate to Luffy necessarily being Joy Boy. Whereas more recently, I think that's something that's been changed. Again, with Kaido's word, the idea of Kaido saying to Luffy, you couldn't be Joy Boy either, it seems, that's a direct link that's being made between Luffy and Joy Boy. It's almost as if setting up Luffy to prove Kaido wrong to show him that, yes, I will be Joy Boy. And and then of course with the glimpses in the flashbacks that we're finding out now about Kaido, how King originally thought that Kaido could be Joy Boy, it seems to point to the idea that Luffy is the individual who's going to be able to become Joy Boy. And then also who's who in chapter 1018 and the introduction to the sun god Nika where we saw a silhouette of the deity and it looked so similar to the silhouette that we saw of Luffy in the Skypiea arc where we also got introduced to the idea of a sun god and that obviously raised huge speculations in the fan base as to whether Sun God Nika and Joy Boy are the same person and then in that case whether Luffy is this legend. And I do think that majority of the fan base thinks that Luffy is going to be Joy Boy. He's going to be the Joy Boy that Kaido couldn't be. He's going to be the Joy Boy that's returning to save Wano. But how it all works in the timeline, I think, still remains murky. The idea of a Joy Boy having existed in the past, is Luffy now a reincarnation? I know that's an idea that a lot of people don't like. Or the more popular idea that Luffy is simply the individual who has inherited the will of Joy Boy. And I do think that that is the more likely answer and the more obvious answer answer, but I do think the idea of a circular story is definitely an interesting one to consider, especially when we have this idea of laugh tale, Luffy's tale, and the idea of a story being read out to us now as if it's a story that's already been written. But I would really be interested in hearing your thoughts on this because I know there are a lot of opinions on this matter. I know some people don't even believe that Luffy and Joy Boy are the same person and that Luffy is not going to be a Joy Boy, that another Joy Boy might exist. So what do you guys think? Do you think Luffy is Joy Boy? Do you think Joy Boy and Nika are the same person? Do you think Luffy has just merely inherited the will of Joy Boy? Do you think he is a reincarnation? Do you think the idea of Laugh Tale being Luffy's tale is just a mere coincidence or is a sneaky hint from Oda? And do you think that the idea of a circular story could work? And if so, is there a way that you could come up with a crazy timeline for it to make sense? Because I would love to read about it. But that's sort of where my head has been at. Now let me know your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and share the video and please do subscribe for more One Piece discussions. You can also join our Joyflick Discord server or even become a Patreon member. Thank you to our patrons for help supporting the channel. This is Joy Girl and I'll see you again soon.